Hi, boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you The Fat Cat. And I don't know if you remember, but before school started, I sent a video about The Fat Cat to you. And it was a big book, but it was really hard for me to read and turn the pages and see it. So I looked through all my old books and I found my original fat cat, the small one. And it's super old. It's so old that the cover's fallen off, but I have it because I love this book so much. So I'm going to reread the story of the fat cat to you today because I want you to think about the story and pick your favorite character. Now, characters are the animals and people in the story. So our first character we learn about is the fat cat. He's a character in the story. And we see him on almost every page, so we call him a main character. There's other characters, too. So let me show you this first page. Do you remember who this character is? This is the old woman. She's a character in the book, and so is the fat cat. And I'm going to read you the story now so that you can enjoy the story again. Now, remember, you can read along with me on all the parts that repeat. There was once an old woman who was cooking some gruel. She had some business with the neighbor woman and asked the cat if he would look after the gruel while she was gone. I'll be glad to, said the cat. But when the old woman was gone, Gruel looked so good that the cat ate it all. And the pot, too. When the old woman came back, she said to the cat, Now what has happened to the gruel? Oh, said the cat. I ate the gruel and I ate the pot, too. And now I am going to also eat you. And he ate the old woman. Now here's another character. This character kind of has a funny name. His name is Go Hot and Tot. And here, let me get this over so you can see both pages. And I'll continue reading. He went for a walk and on the way he met Go Hot and Tot. And Go Hot and Tot said to him, What have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. And the cat said, I ate the gruel in the pot and the old woman too. And now I'm also going to eat you. So he ate Go Hot and Tot. And on this page, we're going to see another character. His name is Go Lincoln Lot. Afterwards, he met Go Lincoln Lot. Go Lincoln Lot said, what have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. I ate the gruel and the pot and the old woman, too. And now I am also going to eat you. And he ate school Lincoln lot. I think it helps if I just do one page at a time. Next. He met five birds in a flock. So each of these five birds is a character, and I kind of grouped them together as five birds in a flock because that's what they do. But these are characters in our story. And they said to him, What have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. I ate the gruel in the pot and the old woman too, and Sko Hottentot, and Sko Leakin Lot. And now I am also going to eat you. And he ate the five birds in the flock. And so when we turn the page, we have more characters. These are seven girls dancing. They are more characters in our story. Later, he met seven girls dancing. And they too said to him, Gracious, what have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. And the cat said, I ate the gruel and the pot and the old woman too, and Sko Hot and Tot, and Sko Lincoln Lot, and five birds in a flock. And now I'm also going to eat you. And he ate the seven girls dancing. When he had gone a little further, he met a lady with a pink parasol. And the lady with a pink parasol is also a character. And she too said to him, 
heavens! What have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat! I ate the gruel and the pot and the old woman too. And Sko Hottentot and Sko Lincoln Lot and five birds in a flock. And seven girls dancing. And now I am also going to eat you. And he ate the lady with a pink parasol. A little later, he met a parson with a crooked staff. Dear me, what have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. Oh, said the cat. I ate the gruel and the pot and the old woman, too. And Sko Hottentot and Sko Lincoln Lot and five birds in a flock and seven girls dancing and the lady with the pink parasol. And now I'm also going to eat you. And he ate the parson with the crooked staff. And so here's another character. Do you remember the woodcutter? Here's another character. In fact, I think he's the last one in our story. Let me get this straightened and I can read you the story. Next, he met a woodcutter with an axe. My, what have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. I ate the gruel and the pot and the old woman too. Ands go hot and tot, ands go Lincoln lot, and five birds in a flock, and seven girls dancing, and the lady with a pink parasol, and the parson with a crooked staff. And now I'm also going to eat you. No, you are wrong, my little cat, said the woodcutter. Remember what happens next? Let me oops, turn the page first and I'll open it up. You want to see both pages here. Whoops, go this way. There we go. He took his axe and cut the cat open and out jumped all the characters, the parson with the crooked staff, the lady with the pink parasol, the seven girls dancing, the five birds in the flock, Sko Hottentot and Sko Lincoln Lot, and the old lady took her pot and her gruel and went home with them. She was another character. And here are our two final characters of the story. And it doesn't have any words, but we know what happens just by looking at the picture. And that's the end of our story. Now, for your work today, for your independent work, your job is to get out the picture of the fat cat. Your paper is going to be in your language arts folder, and it's going to look like this. Blank. There's room to write your names. Oops, here it is. You can write your name right here, or you can have your mom and dad write your name for you. Here it says the fat cat. That's the title of the story. Remember fat and cat rhyme. And it says by Jack Hent. And so um, what your job is to do after you write your name or have your family write your name is to decide which character do you like the best. And you can say my favorite character is, and there's a blank right here for your parents to write your favorite character's name. And then you're going to draw a picture right here of your favorite character. And here you get to color a picture in of a fat cat. So think about which character you like. Let me see if I can find my book here real quick. We'll review them one more time. And then I would love it if your parents took a picture and sent it to me via email so I can see which character that you like best. So remember, our characters are the fat cat, who's not so fat in this picture, the woodcutter, the lady with the pink parasol, the parson with the crooked staff, the seven girls dancing, the five birds in a flock, Sko Hottentot, and Sko Lincoln Lot. When you find your favorite character, you're going to do your very best picture. So let me just kind of show you a couple of examples I have. One, I forgot to write my name on. Yikes, and I'm going to write my name right now so I don't forget. And I'm going to show you. This is what I did. My favorite character was the five birds in a flock. So I made five birds over here, 
and I colored in my fat cat. That's what you're going to do. Here's another idea because your favorite character might not be the five birds. In this paper, my favorite character is Skull Lincoln Lot. So um, I drew a picture of Skull Lincoln Lot here and colored the fat cat. So I'd love for you to show me what who your favorite character was and then give me the paper or take a picture of the paper and send it to me via text or no, not text, email. Sorry, you guys. I have some problems with vocabulary words and computers sometimes. If your family can, otherwise you might even want to um, bring them to school tomorrow and we can show them really quick be, at the beginning of the school day. And it'll be kind of fun to share. Anyways, have fun, enjoy your lesson, and I'll see you tomorrow at 8.30.